Howdy folks, Nathan here at Bullhide 4x4 in Fort Collins, Colorado. And this is where we've brought our Project Trailhound. Now we have this vehicle for many years, over two years. And in that time, we've been adding components and making it better and more badass. Now, we haven't finished because you may have noticed you're looking at the back of the vehicle and that is because this needs to go. The rear bumper needs to be replaced with something a little, a lot beefier. And I'm referring to this. That's right, we're gonna do a full install with this and we have an expert who's gonna talk us through exactly what we're looking at here, so stay tuned. I'm here with Nate from AEV. Now we've worked with Nate several times before on, well, with Trailhound, and the good news is he's here to take us through what we're looking at right here, and what is this? So this is the AEV rear bumper for the Ram 2500s. We also make it for the Ram 3500s and even the 2500s back when they used to be leaf springs. So on this bumper, it's more off-road capable, just like the front bumper that we gave you for the front of your vehicle. Uh -huh. Now we got to upgrade the rear of the vehicle. So when your departure angle on your truck drags on that rock off-road, you don't damage the rear bumper and then damage the bed of your truck. So that's why we have this product here with these giant mandrel bent corners. This is what actually is gonna protect the corner of your bed. This bar wraps around right behind the rear tire. Uh -huh. And this is what is gonna take the brunt of if you drop off a ledge like out in Moab. I know you guys taken this truck out there before. So from over here, from my perspective, that would come down from here. Yep. And would cover this area leading to the bumper. Am I correct? That's correct. That's oh, the okay. most vulnerable area when it comes to off-roading because this is the furthest point. And uh -huh. a lot of times if you come off an edge, this is what you're tagging. It looks like you already kind of done that a little bit. Uh, I'm going to blame that on Roman entirely. So let's get back to the bumper. Um, so what we're talking about here is a modular component. So in other words, each part goes on and then you slap it all together because otherwise we're talking, what, about 170 pounds worth of stuff. And at least this center part goes first and then you would add the other components onto it. Am I correct? That's correct. There's no free lunch when it comes to strength. So yeah. more thickness of steel gives you more strength, more thick steel, adds more weight. But with you want to use this truck off-road, you're going to need that extra protection. The great thing about this bumper, there's a lot of different options that you can put with this bumper because these trucks come with a lot of different options from the factory. Right. Uh, this one you have here is a Bighorn. The Bighorn does have park sensors. We do have spots for it to relocate into our bumper on the center section here. Mm -hmm. And then on these corner tanks, we're actually going to drill a little hole to mount it uh, on this outer wing here. So you still have your factory park sensors. And this is built to sit on top of this. Yep. It kind of gives it that OEM look to it. This is part of what we're doing. Um, this is a new component to the exhaust. And can you explain why we're doing this? So when we put the AV rear bumper onto your vehicle, the lowest part becomes your factory exhaust. Uh -huh. And it actually hangs out right below this, this tube here. And our tube from that corner is gonna come through right about here, right? Uh -huh. So what we do is we actually will remove the, the very end of this exhaust and then move it back and up. So now the lowest point that you're gonna hit off road won't be your exhaust, it'll actually be that corner tank, or not that, that, that steel corner. Now, what do you think the assembly slash installation time is going to be for this? So we estimate between six to eight hours of install time. It kind of depends on all the different sensors you have. Like you just have park sensors. Uh -huh. Other trucks have uh, trailer camera harnesses, plugs you're putting on there. Sure, I mean, there's additional you, things that could even go here, yeah. but in this case, we just have this. There's even a little sensor here for when your key fob will detect that you can unlock the tailgate from the rear. Oh, we okay. have a spot for it that relocates into that bumper. Uh -huh. So this is a provision that we made into this bumper for additional backup lighting. Uh -huh. So you put a little three inch cube light behind it. Uh, we didn't uh, have cube lights with us today. Uh -huh. So we're gonna use these little block off plates that will cover it up. And we'll actually put a little bit of extra reflective material there. Uh -huh. So it'll be a little red square kind of give you a little more added security off road. These are our two giant recovery points. Yeah. Just like the front of the bumper, uh -huh. we have these two ductile iron recovery points. We made these specifically even wider so that we ha you have to use a one inch anchor shackle. Uh, for Jeeps, it's great to use a three quarter inch anchor shackle. It works well. Uh -huh. On these Ram trucks, especially the ones with, with a big camper on the back like you have, uh, you'll quickly exceed a three quarter inch anchor shackle safety uh, rating. So. That's why we made it a little bit wider, so you have to use a one-inch anchor shackle. All right, it's time for us to amscray and let the professionals take all of this and put this here. Well, 
Well, as I said earlier, we're in Fort Collins and this is Bullhide 4x4. So we're gonna go inside, have a look around and talk to the head honcho. Come on. I'm here with Trevor. Now, Trevor works here and uh, what, what do you do here? Yeah, I'm just a parts guy on the front counter. Um, yeah, just helping people sell stuff and get you know parts taken care of on their vehicles. Okay. What he's not telling you is that he owns the whole thing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but uh, what, do, what we want to do is we want to walk around here and talk about the shop. Uh, I can clearly see there's some wheels over here. So let's look at the shop real quick as we're going through here and talk about the shop itself. You know, obviously you have all the fancy wheels and tires, some different, you know, styles and brands, stuff that we can carry. Um, otherwise, obviously we have different kind of suspensions and Terraflex and Yeti. So this is going to be mostly our lights um, and compressors and kind of more of the bolt-on style stuff. Mm -hmm. um, something a little bit simpler, you know, smaller, smaller stuff for you. Now, we're here specifically to look at American Expedition Vehicles components that we're about to put onto our truck, right? Yeah. Is there a section for that here? Yeah, we have some of the AEV um, stuff over here. Um, obviously, American Expedition Vehicles does a lot when it comes to the suspension on vehicles. Suspension's real hard to display, right? Uh -huh. So we have more of their recovery stuff out um, on display, um, have their kind of sections set aside in here, um, along with the roto packs and the Factor 55 Warren, a little bit of everything. Um, but yeah, we have a special spot for AEV stuff. All right, you have one, two, three, four, what is it, six yeah, lifts? There should be six lifts. We've got two alignment machines. So we're a full service shop. So obviously we do, people know us a lot with the um, the fun stuff, the lift kits, the you know bumpers and all that kind of stuff, right. the stuff that looks good. Uh -huh. um, but we're full service. So we do anything from motor work to um, you know, so steering and suspension to any of that stuff. So all the guys are very versed in terms of normal diagnostic stuff, mm -hmm. um, along with obviously putting on lift kits and all the fun stuff too. Time for the big reveal. Come on guys, let's have a look. By the way, normally if you're a customer, you don't just go blasting through this door. <laughs> you have to ask permission. Okay, all ready right off the bat. You can clearly see how this setup, how it comes underneath to protect this section of the truck. One of the things that I've noticed on the trail, we've seen so many pickup trucks with this section smashed in. So I love seeing that. Oh, beefy. And what they also did, if you look over there, they replaced the light for the license plate with that unit. That's super cool. Ah, and finally, the PS, the resistance down here. This exhaust used to be down here. So they replay, they cut it and then they replaced it with this. So it's up and out of the way. And this metal bar comes around protecting it. Totally changing the departure angle. Oh, this is awesome. All right, let's get it outside. I cannot wait to show the rest of the guys this thing. All right, Nate, take us through what do they do to put this on? So at first, we got to take out that stock bumper, of course. Right. And get that out of the way so we can put this uh, this bumper on. Uh -huh. Then we had to relocate all your park sensors onto it, your trailer plug hitch on, or trailer plug. And then we had a new license plate light as well. And then after that center section is in place, we attach these recovery points and these corners. You'll see that uh, as the install that we did. Uh -huh. Uh, and then finally, we wrapped up these corner tanks, you know, gave it that kind of OEM look. It looks incredible. What's really cool is that uh, there's more that could be done. So, for instance, these reflectors here, these can punch right out and you could put in, like, you know, really powerful cube light back yep. here. Yep. That's cool. And you mentioned when we were talking about this earlier, having this notch here, you can literally see exactly where that thing goes. Yeah, that's where your uh, factory uh, rod goes in for the spare tire winch. Right. So we need to have that little provision so you can actually still get to your spare tire, you know, going overlook those little things. Well, this looks fantastic. I know the guys are absolutely gonna be over the moon when they see this. Thank you so much for yeah. your time. No this problem, is awesome. Man. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Don't forget to go to alltfl.com for everything that we do. We'll see you next time. <laughs>